How much of uh, the U.S. dollar value is dependent on foreign lending, foreign lending or foreign borrowing? Um, Peter Schiff is convinced that other countries will stop accepting uh, U.S. Uh, IOUs and will cause it to be worthless. Also, uh, U.S. dollar index is going down while gold is going up. Yeah, I mean, if foreign countries stop using dollars, if stop, foreign countries stop buying U.S. debt, then the dollar will collapse. But you have to ask yourself, what would they use? What are they going to use if they don't use the dollar? Right? Now, if they were rational, they could go on a gold standard. But that is impossible to imagine that China or the European Union would abandon the dollar and go on a gold standard. Because the gold standard is too limiting to statists. The whole point of a gold standard, the whole point of going off a gold standard is to give statists more power and more control. So would the world investors start using yuan, the, the, the Chinese currency? Really? I think the Chinese economic system is built on an even bigger house of cards than the American economic system. The Chinese government has control of its own currency even more than the U.S. government has control of its own currency. The, 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 the Chinese have borrowed huge amounts of money. Can they ever repay it back without inflating their currency? Oh, well, they all shift to the euro. Really? You trust the European Central Bank more than the Fed? So the problem is that in a world of fiat currencies and in a world unwilling to go to a real money like gold, what are they going to go to? Is the U.S. dollar good money? No. Is it as good or better than the euro and the yuan? Yes, probably better. Now, at some point, it might not be. And at some point, it could collapse relative to euro and to yuan. I just don't see it because I see Europe and China as even more decrepit and even more at risk economically than the, US, than the U.S. economy is. That could change, of course. Europe could become sane. China could move towards capitalism. But it's unlikely anytime soon. So I'm not worried about the dollar collapsing relative to other currencies anytime soon. Now, it is possible if we get inflation. That is, if, if the government, if Trump gets another trillion dollar stimulus package, I think trillion or two trillion or whatever they're talking about these days, and the Fed continues printing money like crazy, then we will get inflation at some point. I know it's $6 trillion, but, you know, people talked about inflation after the, after the financial crisis and it didn't happen. So I'm a little wary. But because there are other mechanisms that suppress inflation, at the, price inflation at the same time as all this printing is going on, it's all also disappearing onto the, for example, reserve balances at the Federal Reserve. So it's not actually going out there into the economy and creating the kind of activity that would create inflation. But if we actually got significant inflation in the U.S., then, yeah, the, the dollar would be drop in value unless, and this is how markets are self-correcting, what would encourage foreigners to buy dollars even if you had inflation? Not dollars. What would encourage foreigners to buy dollar-denominated debt even if you had inflation? Well, what encouraged them is if interest rates were very high. So for that to actually happen, for that to actually happen, the Fed would have to allow interest rates to rise, particularly long-term interest rates to rise. So again, whether the dollar collapses completely is, depends on what the Fed does, the extent to which interest rates are, are, are allowed to move the extent to which we are inflating our currency to, the ex to a point where prices start going up significantly, and to the extent that other countries are not doing that, that is to the extent that, to what extent is Europe and China engaged in more rational economic policy? I see no sign that China and Europe are engaged in economic policy that is better, more rational than America is, than the U.S. is right now. We will see. 
Maybe I'm wrong. But, but that's why I don't see the collapse of the dollar as imminent. Now, gold is going up because the risk of inflation has gone up. So if you want a, an inflation hedge, if you want to hedge against the possibility of future inflation, price inflation, then you buy gold. So the gold is a consequence of the fact that uh, gold going up is a consequence of the fact that the risk, not the actual inflation, but the risk of inflation, of, of price inflation has gone up. Um, somebody says there's $30 trillion of debt. There's much more than $30 trillion because what we're not counting is all the obligations that the federal government has made that are not literally denominated in bonds. And if you count those, which, which include Social Security and Medicare, then the actual U.S. debt is, clo is, is well above $100 trillion. But those obligations also exist in Europe and, in, and to some extent in China. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>